Today we are going to watch an amazing film released in 2011. In this movie, an ordinary boy's life changes suddenly when a mischievous rabbit from another planet arrives. But this rabbit was not ordinary. He could talk like humans and had special powers. Then, this mischievous rabbit becomes the boy's best friend, and together they create such fun events that will make your heart happy. So let's get acquainted with a fun story of a human and a mischievous rabbit. The story begins with some pictures of rabbits. All these rabbits are called star bunnies. The title of star bunny is a prestigious rank in the rabbit community. Every rabbit wants to become a star bunny, but only responsible and capable rabbits can become star bunnies. After this, we see a large island called Star Island. It was a different world of rabbits. Inside the island, we see a small mischievous and cute rabbit named Abby, Easter Bunny. Abby was happily playing drums on an old statue. Just then, his father arrives. His father was a star bunny, so everyone called him Star Bunny. Star Bunny says to Abby, you are now grown up, so if you want to become a star bunny, you have to start being mature now. Today I will take you to our factory. Hearing this, Abby becomes very happy because he has wanted to visit the factory with his father for a long time. Then Star Bunny takes his son Abby to the factory. It was an Easter Bunny factory. Various chocolates were made here, which Star Bunnies delivered to children on special days. Abby becomes extremely happy seeing the factory. Chickens and rabbits work together in the factory to make different types of chocolates for children. Star Bunny shows Abby the entire factory. He says, I know you like everything here. Don't worry, all this will be yours one day. You will have to take responsibility for everything here because you will become a star bunny when you grow up. Then they go to a machine where Abby eats some chocolates. Just then, a chicken named Carlos arrives. Carlos was in charge of the chocolates here. Carlos says to Abby, our job is to make chocolates, not to eat them. Just then, Star Bunny arrives there and says to Carlos, oh, Abby was just tasting the chocolate. Then Star Bunny tastes the chocolate and says to Carlos, the chocolate doesn't taste right to me, so you all should work properly. There, a chicken named Phil was making chocolate. Carlos tells Phil to make the chocolate properly, but Phil was listening to music on headphones and dancing instead of paying attention to his work. Star Bunny then says to Carlos, you should fulfill all your responsibilities properly because people on earth wait for our chocolates on special days. Star Bunny says to Abby, from now on, you have to be responsible. Even after becoming a Star Bunny, you will be able to fulfill your responsibilities properly. But hearing all this, Abby feels that becoming a star bunny is not as easy as he thought. To become a star bunny, a lot of responsibilities have to be taken. He doubts whether he will become a star bunny when he grows up. Then star bunny reassures him, don't be afraid. It's true that a star bunny has a lot of responsibilities, but once you learn all the tasks, the work will become easy. If you can fulfill the responsibilities properly for a few years, you can get the Star Bunny office, which allows you to do magical things that ordinary beings or Star Bunnies cannot do. Saying this, Star Bunny takes Abby along. But Carlos feels jealous hearing all this because he wanted this position for many years. After this, we see a scene from the city of California. Today was a special day. That night, in a small house in the city, a boy named Fred was sleeping. Suddenly, he hears some noises. Then he goes to his window and sees a shadow outside. Running to the window, he sees that the star bunny has come to give chocolates to the children. Fred becomes very happy and runs outside with his camera because he wanted to take a picture of the star bunny. But by the time he goes outside, the star bunny has already left after leaving chocolates. Fred sees that the star bunny has left many gifts and chocolates for him. But he feels sad because he wanted to see the star bunny once. After this incident, about 20 years pass. After this, we see Fred's house where he is having dinner with his family. 
Fred has grown up now. They are all talking together. Fred's younger sister, Alex, says that she is doing very well in class and will soon get a star. After Alex, their elder sister, Sam, says that she is about to get a promotion soon. Hearing this, their parents become very happy. Here, their father says, I am very happy that my two children are doing very well and are moving forward in their lives. But what should I do with this useless boy? He has been behind in everything since childhood. Then the father asks Fred, How was your interview today? Fred then says, The interview was very good, but I did not like the office at all. The atmosphere there was not good at all. Fred actually always makes some excuse. So his family is very angry with him because Fred never stays at any office properly. He leaves the job after a few days. So Fred's parents advise him to find a good opportunity soon and settle down by getting married. On the other hand, Abby has grown up now, but even after growing up, his mischiefs have not decreased. Abby is sitting in his room practicing drumming. Just then, Star Bunny arrives there. Star Bunny says to Abby, You are grown up now, Abby, and now you are of the age to become a Star Bunny. So I want to hand over all the responsibilities to you. But Abby says, I don't want to become a Star Bunny now, Dad. As a child, I thought becoming a Star Bunny was very easy, but to become a Star Bunny, a lot of responsibilities have to be fulfilled. You know very well, Dad, I am not responsible at all. I am not worthy of becoming a star bunny. If you want, I can help you with other tasks, but I don't want to become a star bunny. My dream is to form a big band and show the world my drumming skills. I don't want to stay confined within four walls as a star bunny. I want to travel the world. Star bunny says, you are grown up now, and according to our family tradition, you have to fulfill this responsibility now. But if you want to travel the world, you can do it in a day. So your excuses won't work. I cannot break our 4,000 year old history for you. As my child, the responsibility of becoming a star bunny is now yours. So stop making excuses and get ready. Saying this, star bunny leaves. But Abby decides firmly that she will not become a star bunny under any circumstances. That night, when everyone was asleep, Abby sneaks out of him house and directly reaches the city of California. He was looking for a place to stay with the help of the map he had. On the other hand, Fred had a fight with his family and left the house with his belongings. At that moment, his elder sister, Sam, arrives. Sam gives Fred a paper and says, Tomorrow you will go for an interview at this company. But Fred immediately refuses because he doesn't want to do any job. But when Sam tells him that it's a gaming company, Fred agrees immediately. Then Sam says to him, Where will you go now? I know you don't have a place to go. But you have to change yourself. Fred says, Just give me a few weeks, you'll see I'll be in a better position than all of you. I will get married and settle down soon. Then you won't be able to say anything to me. Sam says, That's what we all want too. Anyway, I have something to tell you. My boss at the office is going on leave for a few days. He will return home after a few weeks. But he has a pet dog at home. He gave me the key to his house to take care of the dog. But you know I am very scared of dogs. So you take the key and go to this address. You can stay there for a few weeks. Fred is very happy to hear this. He thanks his sister and takes the key and drives to the address. On the other hand, Abby is walking on the street looking for a place to stay. Just then, he gets hit by Fred's car. Although Abby does not get seriously injured, Fred thinks the animal might have been severely injured. Fred picks up a big stone from the side of the road because he wants to kill the animal in one blow so that it doesn't suffer much. But just as Fred is about to hit him with a stone, Abby stands up and says, You hit me with your car and now you want to kill me with a stone? If I want, I can report you to the police right now. But I will forgive you and not tell the police on one condition if you let me stay with you. Do you agree? Abby asks. 
but seeing a rabbit talking, Fred gets very scared. He quickly drives away and enters the house, which is his sister's boss's house. But Abby follows him inside. Abby says to Fred, I am very hungry. Can you give me something to eat? Fred gives her some food with fear. But Abby doesn't like the food at all. Abby then says to Fred, I understand that you don't like me. So, you want to kill me with your car, and now you're not even giving me good food. Fred then took out a carrot from the fridge. Abby took the carrot and said she'd be on her way. But Abby then pretended to have an injured leg and used the carrot as a cane, limping dramatically. As he walked away, he kept saying emotional things like, People are so selfish, first, he tries to kill me and breaks my leg, and now he wants to compensate with just a carrot. Hearing all this, Fred felt very guilty. So, he allowed Abby to stay with him and set up a place for her in the garage. Meanwhile, we see Star Bunny inspecting everything in his factory. Carlos tells Star Bunny that everything in the factory is running smoothly. Then Star Bunny asks Carlos, Have you seen Abby anywhere? I haven't been able to find him all day. Carlos then reveals, Abby ran away last night. He has broken the tradition of the Star House, so he can never be brought back. He must be punished. Star Bunny left without saying anything, feeling sad. Carlos was actually trying to trap Star Bunny. He really wanted to become the Star Bunny himself. Carlos said, you can appoint someone else as the Star Bunny, someone who is very responsible and loyal and will follow all your orders. But Star Bunny ignored Carlos' words and instead said, call the Pink Berets and have them find Abby as soon as possible. The Pink Berets then arrived in California and began searching for Abby. The next morning, Fred woke up and went to work, but Abby was not in the garage. Fred thought that maybe Abby had left, so he was very happy and thought to himself that he had avoided a big hassle. After this, he got ready for his interview, but before going to the interview, he went to feed the pet dogs. But the dogs got angry seeing him and started chasing him. Scared, Fred ran back inside the house. Just then, he heard some noises from upstairs. Fred went upstairs to check and saw Abby playing the drums. The whole room was a mess, and the bathroom was also ruined. Fred got very angry at Abby. He put Abby in a box and took her far away to a forest. As soon as he opened the lid of the box, Abby thought that Fred had brought her on a picnic. But within moments, he realized that it was a forest and that Fred was going to leave her there. Fred threw Abby out of the box and started to leave. But Abby then started following Fred and showed him chocolates from her body. Abby said, don't leave me. I am very special. I am going to become the Easter Bunny very soon. Hearing this, Fred was delighted because he had loved the Star Bunny since childhood. Fred asked Abby, are you really the Easter Bunny? Abby explained, I'm not the Easter Bunny yet. But my father is the Star Bunny. Now that I've come of age, I am supposed to become the Easter Bunny. But I left home to fulfill my dreams. While talking about this, they reached Fred's interview office. Fred said, I can't take you inside with me. You'll stay quietly inside the car. Saying this, Fred went inside the office. Abby was sitting inside the car when the pink berets arrived. Scared, Abby ran to Fred and pleaded for help. Fred quickly told him to leave as the office manager was coming. Fred somehow managed the situation and tried to maintain his composure everywhere in the office. But Abby kept disturbing Fred repeatedly. In anger, Fred scolded Abby and told him to leave. Having no other option, Abby went to another part of the office where a band was playing music. There he saw several drums, and unable to control himself, he started playing the drums. The band's singers were all blind, so they couldn't see Abby. However, they knew that no one else was supposed to be there, yet the drums were playing. They asked, Who are you? Abby then said, I am an unfortunate drummer whose dream is to become a famous drummer. If you want, you can give me a chance. Hearing this, 
A person there gave him a poster and said, You are very talented. The poster I gave you is for a talent show, and the audition is tomorrow. If you can show your talent in the audition, you will be selected. This way, you can fulfill your dream. Hearing this, Abby was very happy. As Fred and Abby were driving in their car, the pink berets noted their car number. Meanwhile, we see Star Bunny very worried about Abby. Star Bunny says to Carlos, I shouldn't have been angry with Abby. I should have understood the value of him words and helped him fulfill him dream. I made a huge mistake. But Carlos says, you haven't made any mistake. As a star bunny, what you did was right. Carlos continues, but you don't need to worry so much. It's not necessary for a rabbit to be the star bunny. If you want, you can give this responsibility to another animal, like me. I have worked in your factory for many years, so I understand everything well. If you give me the responsibility of being the star bunny, I can handle everything correctly. Hearing this, Star Bunny laughs and says, You are very good at making jokes, Carlos. A chicken becoming the Star Bunny. The name itself suggests it's for a rabbit. Have you ever heard such a thing? Saying this, Star Bunny leaves. On the other hand, Abby and Fred were sitting in a coffee shop. Abby says to Fred, I want to make a deal with you that will make you very happy. If you take me to the talent show, I'll leave your life and won't trouble you. Fred then says, all right, I agree. But you have a problem. You are a rabbit and you talk a lot in front of people. Talking in front of people is prohibited. They might get scared and harm you. Just go there and show your talent. Abby agrees at first. But then the hotel waiter comes, and Abby starts talking to him because Abby was very talkative. Fred then brings Abby to his house. There, he sees that his elder sister Sam has arrived. Fred then brings Abby to his house. There, elder sister Sam has arrived. Seeing Sam, Fred says, My elder sister is here to check everything. She had forbidden me from going to room number 12. But you have gone there and messed everything up. Now I'll somehow keep my sister busy downstairs. Meanwhile, you clean up the upper floor. Make sure there's no mistake anywhere. Fred then goes to Sam and tries to keep her occupied with various topics so she won't go upstairs. But Sam, listening to Fred, realizes that Fred must have done something wrong. Sam then asks Fred about his interview. Fred says, my interview went very well. I'm sure I'll get the job. But the problem is, I didn't like the people there. I'm doubtful whether I'll do the job or not. Just then, Sam hears a noise from upstairs and runs upstairs. To stop her, Fred follows her. Upon reaching upstairs, Fred sees that the floor is sparkling clean, and everything is in its place. Abby was sitting with some toys, posing as a toy herself so Sam wouldn't suspect anything. But Sam immediately picks up Abby and says, This toy looks just like a real rabbit. Its eyes are so beautiful. Fred quickly takes Abby from Sam and puts her back with the other toys on the bed. Abby then acts like a battery-operated toy. Fred realizes that Abby won't be able to control herself for long. So, he puts Abby in a drawer. Fred then bids farewell to Sam. Before leaving, Sam says to Fred, Tomorrow, Alex has a program at her school. She will be performing, so you have to come. Sam leaves. The next morning, Fred takes Abby to the talent show auditions. There, many people were auditioning. Many people auditioned, but no one was very impressive. Then Fred comes before the judges and says, Dear judges, today I'm going to show you something you've probably never seen before. But I won't be performing, my pet will. He then asks Abby to play the drums and encourages her from a distance. Abby plays the drums so beautifully that everyone is mesmerized. No one could believe that a rabbit could play drums so well. Thus, Abby gets selected, and Fred is very happy. Due to his excitement, Abby starts talking, but the judges are not surprised. The judges then say, seeing you talk doesn't scare me. I also have a talking car. You'll perform again next Saturday. 
After this, Fred and Abby were walking on the road. Abby says, you have fulfilled your part of the deal, and now I'll leave your life. Just then, the pink berets spot them. Abby requests Fred, take me with you one last time. They then get into the car and head home. Abby then tells Fred the whole story, in a few days, I was supposed to become the Easter Bunny. But my dream is to become a famous drummer. My father and I never got along because he never understood me. I came here to fulfill my dream. My father has now sent the pink berets to find me. They are my father's royal guards. But now I don't want to go back, because going back would mean a fight with my father, and he will forcibly make me the star bunny. Fred then says, you are just like me. I also don't get along with my father. We always argue about the job. But I don't like working, and my father never wants to understand this. That's why I also ran away from home. Then Fred takes Abby to the school where his younger sister Alex studies, as she has a program there today. Fred sits in the audience with Abby in a bag and tells her to stay quiet. But Abby doesn't listen and peeks out of the bag. When the children were performing on stage, Abby saw the shadows of three rabbits, thinking the pink berets were there to find him. So, he tries to run away while shouting. But Fred grabs him. By then, they reach the stage, and everyone realizes it's a talking rabbit. Fred then reassures everyone, this is my pet rabbit, very talented. He can dance, sing, and even play the drums. I've taught him to talk since childhood because he is a special rabbit. That's why he learned to talk very easily. But interrupting the program in between, Fred's father takes him off the stage and asks him to sit on a chair. But by then, Abby starts singing, and the children also start singing with him. Fred and the children perform very beautifully, making the audience happy, and they praise their performance. In the program, Ellen wanted to perform the best, but her plan got ruined because of Fred, so she was angry at him. Just then, Fred's father came and said to Fred, do you think you did a great job? You haven't achieved anything in your life so far. Can you give me one reason why I should be happy with you? After this, Fred sees many pictures of Star Bunny on the wall and an idea comes to his mind. He says to his father, I now know what I need to do to make you happy. Saying this, Fred leaves with Abby. Returning home, Fred says to Abby, When I was little, I once saw Star Bunny. When I told everyone about it, no one believed me. Star Bunny gave me many gifts and chocolates, but no one believed me. I have liked Star Bunny since childhood. Now you don't want to become Star Bunny because you want to play drums. You can take me to your father if you want. I will take on the responsibility of Star Bunny in your place, so you can fulfill your dream, and I'll get a job. Hearing this, Abby slaps Fred on the cheek and says, No human can ever become Star Bunny. Only rabbits can become star bunny. But Fred says, if you, being a rabbit, can play drums like humans, why can't I become star bunny? After this, Abby hits Fred and says, do you know how many responsibilities come with being star bunny? And someone like you can never become star bunny. Besides, you need special powers to become star bunny. Do you have them? Fred then says, I will do whatever it takes to become star bunny. On the other hand, we see Carlos inciting all the chickens working in the Star Bunny's factory against Star Bunny. He was explaining to them that Star Bunny had enslaved them. If they worked in his team and helped him become Star Bunny, he would free them all. On the other hand, we see Fred trying to learn the work of Star Bunny. He was coloring eggs and making different kinds of chocolates. Seeing Fred working so hard, Abby says to him, you helped me fulfill my dream, so, I will help you as much as I can. After this, Abby starts training Fred to become Star Bunny. But today, he had his live performance for the World Talent Show. He was sitting in his room when he sensed the presence of the pink berets. So, he cleverly dressed a toy in his clothes and threw it into a bucket of hot water, then ran away, so the pink berets wouldn't realize he went to the live show. The pink berets arrive and, 
Seeing the toy dressed in Abby's clothes on the stove, mistake it for the real Abby. Then Fred arrives. They think Fred has killed Abby, so they knock Fred out with a pin. They take Fred to Bunny Island. Later, Fred suddenly wakes up in the factory and sees a kingdom of chocolate. Everything was so beautiful that Fred had never imagined it even in his dreams. He thought he had been brought there to become Star Bunny. Star Bunny wants to know about Fred. The Pink Berets then say, he is a bad person. He killed your son by drowning him in hot water. After this, they show him Abby's clothes, and Star Bunny becomes very sad. He loved his son very much, so he gets angry at Fred. Then Carlos tells everyone to go to the chocolate painting room, as Abby loved that room. Carlos then locks the door to that room and says, Now no one can stop me from becoming Star Bunny. I will be the next Star Bunny. After this, he orders all the chickens to tie up Star Bunny, and they do so. Because Star Bunny was tied up, he couldn't do anything. On the other hand, we see Abby preparing for the audition, but he was worried about Fred. If the Pink Berets came there and found Fred, they might harm him, so Abby thinks he shouldn't have put Fred in danger. Just then, the judges come to him and ask why he is sad. Abby then asks, should I go fulfill my dream or go save my friend? The judges then say, you should definitely go save your friend. Because fulfilling a dream becomes much easier with a friend. Hearing this, he goes to Fred's house. Not finding Fred there, he sees a pin on the floor, which could be from the pink berets, and realizes that pink berets have taken Fred. He goes to his father's factory and sees that Fred is tied up. Carlos has captured his father and all the rabbits and taken the magic wand. Star Bunny then realizes that his son is still alive. Carlos's companions tie Abby with chocolate. On the other hand, when the pink berets try to attack Carlos, Carlos freezes them with chocolate. There, the moon of Easter Sunday rises, and Carlos prepares to become Star Bunny. Star Bunny warns him. But Carlos doesn't listen and uses the wand to grow into a giant monster. Star Bunny then says to Fred, You are tied with jelly chocolate, eat it. Fred does so and frees himself. He also frees Star Bunny. Abby tried to defeat Carlos and take the magic wand from him. But Carlos had become very powerful. As Carlos moves towards Earth, Abby starts playing drums because he knew Phil liked music. Phil and the chickens start dancing, and the wand slips from Carlos's hand. Abby picks up the wand and takes it to his father. His father hugs him with joy and says, I made a mistake. I will support you in fulfilling your dream. Abby requests his father to make Fred Star Bunny. Star Bunny makes Fred the Star Bunny and Abby his assistant. Everyone becomes happy. Fred and Abby take the magical cart and start delivering chocolates to the children of the world. A few days later, we see Fred having breakfast with his family. His family didn't know that Fred had now become Star Bunny. His family members were telling him to find a good job. Just then, Abby comes with the magical cart and takes Fred with her. Seeing the magical cart, his family is astonished and realizes that Fred has now become Star Bunny. Fred's father hugs him with joy and feels proud. Fred and Abby return to Bunny Island and live happily ever after.